Yeah. Thanks very much, Anita. Good evening. The Football Association will put off appointing a new England manager until nearer the end of the season. A short list of potential candidates has been drawn up to replace Fabio Capello, with many expecting... Arsene Wenger has questioned the value of international friendlies, claiming they're becoming more and more difficult to accept. The Arsenal manager is unhappy with the fitness of his players when they return from internationals. This last time, uh, top scorer Robin van Persie aggravated a groin injury during the Netherlands' 3-2 win over England on Wednesday. Rangers need to save a million pounds a month to keep going until the end of the season, and they'll announce next week exactly how they're going to do it. Andy Murray has become the first player this year to beat the world number one Novak Djokovic, winning their semi-final at the Dubai Championships in straight sets. That's it. I'll have more for you in Sports Day at 10.30. I'll see you then. OK, thank you very much, Lizzie. And later in Sports Day at 10.30, I'll have all the news, including Andy... Hello and welcome to Sports Day, the headlines this evening. Hello, well, let's start with the news today that the Football Association will put off appointing a New England manager until towards the end of the season. A short list of potential candidates has been drawn up to replace Fabio Capello, who resigned last month, with many expecting the Tottenham... Arsene Wenger has questioned the value of international friendlies, claiming they're becoming more and more difficult to accept. The Arsenal manager is unhappy with the fitness of his players when they return from internationals. Top scorer Robin van Persie aggravated a groin injury during the Netherlands' 3-2 win over England on Wednesday. Well, Arsenal play the Carling Cup champions Liverpool tomorrow in the early game, while Chelsea travel to West Brom. Now, last week, Frank Lampard said his relationship with his manager was not ideal after Andre Villas-Boas has left him out of the starting lineup a number of times this season. But Villas-Boas says today there was no rift between them, insisting it's nothing personal and that his decisions are for the best of the team. Rangers need to save a million pounds a month to keep going until the end of the season and then announce next week exactly how they're going to do it. The now, there was one match in the Championship this evening with Hull sneaking a late equaliser against Blackpool at Bloomfield Road. Blackpool... On to tennis now, and Andy Murray has become the first player this year to beat the world number one Novak Djokovic, winning their semi-final at the Dubai Championships in straight sets. Super League champions Leeds made it three wins out of four and moved to within a point of the tabletop as Warrington tonight with a 36 points to 14 win at Castleford. Now there was almost a big upset in Rugby Union's Aviva Premiership tonight with bottom of the table Newcastle nearly beating the leaders Harlequins. Rory McIlroy is still on course to be crowned the world's number one golfer. The Northern Irishman has just... And if you think Rangers and Celtic play each other too much during the season, just imagine what it must be like for one of only two football teams on the Isles of Scilly. They play each other every single week. The teams are made up of boatmen, farmers and flower pickers. That is it from me for all the sport. We'll have more for you in half an hour's time. we see you then. See you then. Thank you. Uh, we're going to go... So, as promised, uh, all the sports now. Lots of interviews with uh, Miss Adlington. She's uh, a big uh, hope for, hope for, isn't she, for, for the Olympics. She is indeed. She's not actually now bulletin, though. I've got to say to oh, her. No, she's not. <laughs> She was one. going to be. I know she was going to be. It's because that we've Quick, seen her. We've in. seen no her quite a bit tonight, Rebecca Addington, of course, the swimmer. No, we're going to start with football, though, because uh, the FA have been talking today about who is going to replace Fabio Capello as the new England manager. Well, the FA, the Football Association, have put off appointing a new England manager, or they say they will put it off until towards the end of the season. A short list of potential candidates has been drawn up to replace Fabio Capello, who resigned last month, with many. Ex Arsene Wenger has questioned the value of international friendlies, claiming they're becoming more and more difficult to accept. The Arsenal manager is unhappy with the fitness of his players when they return from internationals. Top scorer Robin van Persie aggravated a groin injury during the Netherlands' 3-2 win over England on Wednesday. Well, Arsenal play the Carling Cup champions Liverpool tomorrow in the early game, while Chelsea travel to West Brom. Now, last week, Frank Lampard said his relationship with his manager was not ideal after Andre Villas-Boas has left him out of the starting lineup a number of times this season. But Villas-Boas said today there was no rift between them, insisting it's nothing personal and that his decisions are for the best of the team. Rangers need to save a million pounds a month to keep going until the end of the season and they'll announce next week exactly how they're going to do it. There's currently a short... F there was one match in the Championship this evening with Hull sneaking a late equaliser against Blackpool at Bloomfield Road. Blackpool's young midfielder Tom Ince, the son of the former England captain Paul Ince, opened the scoring halfway through... Andy Murray has become the first player this year to beat the world number one Novak Djokovic, winning their semi-final at the Dubai Championships in straight sets. 
The Super League champions Leeds made it three wins out of four and moved to within a point of tabletoppers Warrington tonight with a 36 points to 14 win at Castleford. Now there was almost a big upset in Rugby Union's Aviva Premiership tonight with bottom of the table Newcastle nearly beating leaders Harlequins. New now Rory McIlroy is still on course to be crowned the world number one golfer. The Northern Irishman finished his second round at the Honda 18th. Triple jumper Philip Sadova will be on course, will be of course chasing a gold medal at the London 2012 Olympics to add to his world, European and Commonwealth goals. But his ongoing row with Team GB's head coach Charles Van Comeny shows no signs of being settled. That is almost it. Just time to look at the back pages for tomorrow. Mr um, Villas-Burst wants more money. So not much sympathy and I guess quite rightly too. Um, Andy Murray, um, Djokovic revenge. Of course, he, he, he had that in major. So um, can he beat Djokovic in the major? We'll have to see. More on uh, AVB. Not going to start anyway. Not great for him. Uh, like this, they're saying, so how am I manager? Let's There's quickly... Rebecca Addington. You mentioned her earlier. There we go, yes. The British trials for the Olympics Fingers crossed for up. her. Very, very quickly, Harry Redknapp, because this is an Harry interesting Redknapp story. Harry Redknapp, playing for Blackpool. Have a great weekend. Thank you.